Hey all, welcome to the original Music Database Vlog, uh, Volume 10. Uh, I've been having a little bit of trouble with my computer, um, and uh, the most recent version of QuickTime has been giving me troubles. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, it's been a while since I've uh, updated the vlog, and I have a lot of really, really good musicians um, that I want to talk about. But first, I wanted to talk about uh, this music that I've been listening to. Um, there's this group out of New York, a uh, production, a party production slash DJ outfit uh, that call themselves Nakotek. And um, it has been all that I've been listening to recently. Uh, I have a link for the MySpace page on their homepage to the right. Um, this is great stuff. Anyone, anyone interested in any kind of music should, uh, should definitely check it out. But especially if you're a Spanish speaker or if you're someone who's interested in alternative music from other countries. Um, what the group does is, is, takes, uh, is they, they take music from all over Spanish-speaking uh, countries, all over the world, all over from Latin America and Europe, and, uh, and, and mix them together. Uh, these really creative, elaborate, uh, beautiful mixes of, uh, of music. Uh, kind of campy, kind of trashy, but also kind of uh, definitely very fun and definitely good, uh, good, good music. Um, yes, so without further ado, uh, check out Nakotek uh, and on their website and download their, their mixes. Definitely uh, play it, yeah, and, and, uh, and listen to it and love it and tell all your friends about it because it's, uh, it's been rocking my world. Uh, Alright, now, so this week there are three great artists that I want to talk about in uh, no particular order. Um, I, I've had some contact with this first guy, and uh, he's the, he, he really, really blew me away with his stuff. Uh, his name is Jerome Jordan, and he's a singer, songwriter, guitarist, born and raised in uh, Brooklyn. And he's done a lot of stuff with, uh, with a lot of local acts in, in the New York uh, City music scene. Um, jazz and uh, funk and psychedelic and all kinds of artists from from in and around that scene. A lot of stuff that you might not have heard of. So definitely check out his his uh, YouTube page and his and his MySpace page because he talks about a lot of ours artists and acts and I, I, that I wasn't really familiar with. Um, who he has worked with, uh, who really really impressed me was um, one of my favorite favorite uh, spoken word artists and musicians, Saul Williams. Um, who is phenomenal? If you haven't heard his his uh, his latest uh, album, I definitely would, uh, would check it out. Um, what's really amazing, and what what is featured more on his page, is his own amazing singing and guitar playing, both of which are phenomenal. You can hear influence the influence of uh, of Jimi Hendrix in his playing, and and he has a multi octave voice, which reminds me of Stevie Wonder, Prince, Lenny Kravitz, and I could go on and on. But uh, make no mistake, he is his style is uh, is uniquely his own. Um, one of the things he said to me in an email was that uh, I would say to an aspiring aspiring musician, do music because you love it, not because you want to be a celebrity or you want to be in a hip you want to be hip in a certain scene. Have respect for the art. Don't fear the art, or uh, and and for the art's sake, always help and do your part to expand and develop the art, or the art might die. Wow. So I, uh, I was definitely impressed and inspired by um, such an amazing message from a, from a talented uh, uh, musician like, uh, like JJ. Uh, and I think uh, all musicians could take a page from that and uh, many, many pages from uh, watching this guy play. Next is uh, Cindy Perez. Cindy Perez. Cindy Perez. Cindy Perez. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. She's originally from the U.S., or so I gather from her website, but she moved to the uh, Netherlands in the uh, late 70s and found her musical and spiritual home there. And since then, she's been active in the music scene, playing support for such acts as uh, The Grateful Dead, Solution, Van Morrison, uh, Joan Armatrading, Melanie, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Richie Havens, 10 Years After, and many others. Her sound is uh, decidedly alt country, or at least country rock, uh, but her voice is nothing short of powerful and amazing. Uh, the videos that I feature are only a taste of uh, what she has to offer. 
Uh, she's been doing this for um, for a long time. Both her and, and, and JJ have been doing this for a long time. So she has a pretty extensive uh, body of work, and she has a, a, a few a few videos to check out on YouTube. Uh, definitely check out her her web page uh, to hear and see some more of her stuff. Now, again, uh, both her and uh, Jerome Jordan are clearly seasoned music professionals, and I hope that you check out their music and subscribe accordingly. Uh, as always, tell your friends and family and spread the music. Um, I found that music, especially unknown stuff that some of your friends and family haven't heard of, makes a great gift. So, yeah, if you can, uh, buy or download their album and, and give it to some of your friends and family. Um, Alright, finally, last but not least, I want to talk about a musician that has a great sound and a lot of talent for his age. Uh, his name is um, Danny Riojas, originally from Texas, but now living in Murrieta, California. And he's been playing for guitar for four years, um, but he's only been singing and writing songs for about a year. Uh, what's incredible is that this guy is only 14 years old, and if I had the dedication and drive that he has now, uh, when I was 14, then I definitely would be posting more videos and vlogs on, uh, on YouTube and I would be doing it more regularly at that. Um, he says that he's influenced by alternative and rock acts such as Nirvana, Peter's Grace, Skillet, uh, Pickleback, Stone Sour, and uh, the list goes on and on and on. Um, his his playing definitely uh, reflects a lot of that influence. Um, but he has what shows in all of his songs and, in, in, and basically in his videos on, on YouTube is that he has a real passion for music. And uh, I hope that he keeps making songs and keeps posting videos on YouTube um, so that others can see that passion and be inspired by it. Yeah, Danny, if you're watching this, keep doing what you're doing. You're definitely on the right on the uh, on the right track. Alright, uh, that's it for this week. Um, kind of a long one. I noticed that I'm barely able out to, to barely able to get out a video a month at this rate. Uh, but hopefully, work will slow down a little bit after this week, giving me some more time to sort of get back into the video making flow. Now my computer's working, so I can actually uh, do video stuff on my computer. Uh, yeah, I'd like to say that I'm going to be a little bit more consistent in my posting, but uh, no promises. Anyway. Uh, as always, take care of yourselves and keep making great videos.